what it Hello. is. Hello. Oh. Woo. Okay. I told oh my you gosh, I it was world will be worth it. Oh, come on. Oh my god. High five. High five. You got to give. That's a, that is so worth it. High five, doctor. Uh, oh. High five. High five. And everybody. High I think I think as my name suggests, uh, actually my first name is Pratiksha, and it also means patience and waiting. Oh. <laughs> I think I I just lived up to my name, you know, just now. Oh, oh my god! Okay, all right. So every one of you who patiently waited for this Pratiksha, who is absolutely patient, and we patiently waited for you. So there you go. There's all kinds of people out here, and they're cheering us on. Yeah, high five! We did it. So there you go. Welcome to live video, everybody. This is how it works. Dr. Gandhi, thank you for joining me in my lion's den. It is absolutely with honor that I bring you to, well, this is bigger than my world because people are sharing it to their worlds and then sharing it to their world and sharing it to their world. So this is already just going out there. So welcome to a really big world. You're awesome too, Beth. Woohoo! That's right, Emily. We're here. We made it. We got on live. It's absolutely live. So Dr. Gandhi, I have given a bio a little bit earlier on you today, and I really wanted people to see, first of all, my goodness, what a, a woman who is what has been absolutely dubbed like one of the top 50 cardiologists in the world. You guys, you know how many cardiologists there have been in our world? Here we are. We are, you are seeing firsthand for yourself, a woman who has, has accomplished extraordinary things in her career and as well as started a global foundation or a global company, this I, um, it's the IPC, oh my goodness, Institute of Preventative Cardiology. Doctor, will you talk to us? What, let's start a little bit at the beginning. People are patient, they've been waiting for you. They've been patient, why? Whatever got you into this cardiology? What, what would, why would a heart, other than you love people, but why would a heart, why would this interest you? To give us a little of your backstory and then let's jump ahead to where you are today. <laughs> okay. So first of all, I just want to like uh, thank everyone. Namaste uh, for uh, like uh, being or uh, uh, hanging up there. And you know, like I just love Becky and what she has been doing. She is just awesome. And I love her lion's den, and I'm feeling like a lioness right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like uh, because I I'm so blessed actually with uh, being in Life Vantage, and you know, like thanks to John Brooks and Dr. Gordon who got me in. But I have just uh, just to share my story, you know, like uh, to give a background of like why am I here? I think it's important for everyone to know that why I got into preventative cardiology. You know, like now. Uh, all of us like when uh, you're always a topper and achiever and you know like uh, and you know once you enter a medical school your ego is inflated like a big balloon by all the farmers and everyone that hey you to go and do surgery and do high tech stuff and all that stuff and so you know naturally most of us choose to become like high-end surgeons and hospitals and huge stuff, you know. But uh, I have a personal story where when I was in my first year, uh, I had this issue of uh, allergies. And I used to wake up in the morning and sneeze almost 100 times. It was like scary. And I was put through uh, antibiotics, steroids, and still it was suppressing but not uh, giving me a complete cure, you know. So that's where, when I, I got trained in the allopathic and the modern medicine, uh, I was very excited about it. But somewhere I realized that uh, it just suppresses symptoms and uh, it doesn't help you in chronic diseases, you know. And that's where my focus came into the preventative aspects that uh, there's also a Chinese quote where they say that a superior doctor prevents disease and inferior doctor treats disease, you know. So obviously you want to be a superior one. And uh, even in ancient India, actually, there used to be kings who used to keep the doctors as ministers of state just to prevent diseases. So I 
somehow my heart reached out for prevention because the yoga and uh, the alternate medicine actually helped me find my cure so that's why i decided to become a, a, a holistic and a balanced physician so i did my post graduation in preventive uh, medicine and then i realized that the who and unicef is focusing more on maternal and child health care and the entire cardiology industry is just operating operating putting in stents and bypass and all so i thought that why not find a way to help people without surgeries or you know like help prevent heart disease because heart disease actually is the number one killer worldwide and i felt that at a preventative level nothing was being done except about talking for cholesterol or some diet so there is lot of things to preventive cardiology and i was uh, blessed that uh, i could uh, start that new trend and uh, here i am congratulations that is a big this is a big movement that you're beginning how long do you think it'll take doctor to get from what you've started to where that really becomes heard and may, and listen to where people and doctors are like well wait a minute instead of treating the illness let's prevent the illness how long do you think that's really going to take before it goes boom and really takes off yeah i feel that uh, you know if you uh, because uh, i understood that just when you want to be in prevention and you want to help people just your medical knowledge is not in- enough you have to understand the behavioral sciences you have to understand the business aspects and unfortunately what has happened is that uh medicine in medicine which is actually a science if you look worldwide the commerce has taken over the science you know so so like healthcare is a business you know it's no longer a a, st- a condition where like you know you will just do for to help people it's more become like a organized business so what i feel is that of when we talk of demand and supply uh we have to create mass awareness and education amongst the people that uh, prevention is a way of life and we should go in for prevention and i feel that as more and more people will be demanding that prevention and preventative doctors i feel in this world then that whole trend will change because mm-hmm. right now i want uh, i i'm sorry to say this but prevention i have been talking all the time done so many shows i have lost count of what i have done in life but most of the times people always want to meet you when they are at their worst very often uh, like you will find that they get this heart attack chest pain and they come but they don't come before that so i think that somewhere we have started our journey like it has been a long time but i would say that in another few decades the world is progressing with technology and all uh, within a few years i'm sure that the trend will change oh, that's fantastic thank you for leading the way my goodness thank you you know i love that you want to prevent something before it becomes an issue and you you've made a loud impact a very loud i mean to to be recognized by the president the past the 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 past president of india that's a big deal that you were recognized on a very grand scale for your uh findings for your it sounds like your research for what you are leading the way in so first of all huge congratulations for Thank you. what you have accomplished and i'll tell you what we cheer you on i sat across the table from my dad in lunch today and he has you know heart valve you know issues and problems and you know everybody wants answers what 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 can we do wait or now i look at what could have we done to before we get there and i'm young enough to prevent so a question how early do people need to start interjecting prevention oh God. that's a, that's a great question becky and i i have a standard quote for this i say that uh, prevention is from a uh, womb to tomb you know like period you know i i i have i i just love your videos and the awesome work which you are doing of sharing so much of knowledge uh, with the, our community uh, and you know if you look at one of the videos which you shared with a mom and she uh, she she had adopted a child of fetal alcohol syndrome and had autism now you, you can sense it that when i say whom means what so like you know mm. when even you're pregnant what kind of diet you eat and what you do is so very important because that's where, from where the nourishment to the child happens and as the child is born also like what kind of diets we are putting in so i i say that prevention is for everyone mm that's beautiful 
are you hope you're listening out there this is huge and you know i'm gonna i'm gonna address who we're talking to a minute dr gandhi okay is, you know those of those that are watching a lot of people are going to be sharing this and for those of you that you somebody loved you enough to share this video of dr gandhi with you today tomorrow whether you're on a replay and if you're catching a replay hit replay let us know that um we've hit a replay and so let us know but if somebody has shared this video with you it's because they care about you and love you very much and i just want to say that to you first so reach back to them because what we're going to segue into is how long ago has it been two months or three months dr gandhi that you were introduced to nrf2 activation and what happened when John reached out to you and you began to have this conversation and you're a research doctor. So you didn't just do this, you know, you just didn't jump into something you research, obviously you want to know what you're doing and something about this aligned with who you are, what your mission is and where you're going. Can you talk to us about that? And we're talking about you guys, NRF2 activation here. The little yellow pill, of course, which is our flagship <laughs> product. We are talking about this right here. Okay. Now, that's one of them, but it's NRF2 activation. So, doctor, will you talk to us about that? Sure, sure. Uh, Becky, I just want to let you know that you have paused. So I am. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> we are not seeing you in motion. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so like, uh, it was, I think, the most uh, blessed moment this year for me when uh, John Brooks uh, reached out uh, with a message on this technology about some medical breakthrough. Uh, so uh, I was not new to oxidative stress because uh, being in preventive cardiology, I've always in all my talks since last 20 years, I talk about free radicals and uh, how free radicals and oxidative stress is one of the root cause for endothelial dysfunction. That is the disturbance in the lining of the arteries of the coronary arteries and that leading to the blockages. Uh, since uh, my uh, constant treatments and preventative methods are focused on the blockages and reversing the blockages or increasing the blood supply to the heart in a non-invasive manner, I've always been looking forward to various products in the market which will help me achieve this goal and upon it i think i have a huge goal which i feel uh, about eradication of the heart disease because i feel 80 percent heart uh, attacks are preventable and we can we can there's a lot of work to be done actually so when i looked at this entire technology my mind just blew off like you know i was like totally totally it was like a divine blessing i would say because I was looking out for something, uh, something which is totally like a, a pill or something like that, because I have been giving IV, uh, uh, IV uh, injections uh, for combating the free radicals, and I used to always, uh, I'm doing it for the last 20 years. So I was thinking that why can't we have some technology where you know we can give something oral and you know can help people to reduce their free radicals and damages. So I and most important is the science because I have not seen anybody, any natural supplements having so much of science, which is on the PubMed because my research is also on the PubMed. So I know how hard it is. So I, I, I went through all the studies and because one of my uh, specialities, I'm also a gold medalist in public health. So we do epidemiology and research methodologies. So when you go through the paper and you see and evaluate everything, I felt that whatever life vantage is doing is something which is right the company is right the products are evidence-based and above all i love the wonderful people i call i mean i i feel that i found my tribe i'm so happy oh can you now i'm looking at i can't see me either but can you hear me okay i can hear you very well uh, except for your frozen picture i have no idea why i don't know how to fix that i'm like well it's okay you know what <laughs> I am just going to look at this and I'm going to call it that this is supposed to happen because you are supposed to be our featured speaker tonight. It's not about me. It's about you tonight. It's, it's, so it's fine. Let's I, carry on. Yeah. I think it's absolutely wonderful. So we're going to carry on. This okay. is live video. So you know what? If they, It doesn't matter that they don't see me. It really doesn't. What it matters is that they see you. So, you know, if you were to say, 
you know, NRF2 activation, removing oxidative stress from your body, obviously that is just a very huge factor in what you are doing as well. And so, you know, in your, in your practice, in, in what you are doing with this now, where you are taking this now with those that you are bringing it to, is this something that you're like, you guys, you need to get this into your bodies. This is what you need. And, you know, obviously integrating this into what you are doing is a huge factor as a medical professional. I mean, you are, you're seeing people all the time, helping them, preventing, working with them. What, do, what are you, what are you sharing with them about this and saying, Hey, let's go. Yeah, I, I, I feel that uh, I have started uh, sharing ridiculously with everyone whom I know. And uh, uh, one thing is that commonest thing is that always I've seen people, they always want that, okay, show me how will my reports improve because that's how actually the patients are trained, you know, like they're used to this cholesterol and this and all these reports and everything. So uh, like for oxidative stress, yeah. So one of the things which I have seen is that for oxidative stress, people, everybody cannot do the T-bar or if they do inflammatory markers and upon it, uh, uh, as per the, like there is a disclaimer that this is not meant to treat, cure, prevent or mitigate any disease. So obviously, uh, this this uh, this technology uh, requires a lot of explanation. Uh, that is what I have, uh, what I'm seeing. But I don't mind doing that because I feel that there are there is a huge, huge pool of people out there who are looking out for something like what we have to offer. And I think that uh, the company has the right resources, the right videos, especially that ABC primetime report is the ultimate because that gives in a uh, lot excites a lot of people so i think that there is enough of material to explain to the people and uh, i have seen a very welcoming response of people wanting to try these products and above all i always believe in myself that even like i had done this uh, training for my cardiology treatments non invasive even though i was not having any heart issues i used to try everything on myself like a guinea pig so <laughs> uh, just uh -huh. to just to get the the feel of what you go through when you do those treatments so uh, uh, so i started using these products and i have seen amazing results in the last two months in fact my whole family is on it and it it is it is it has made such a huge difference uh, like uh, my my energy levels have increased my exercise my walks have increased and above all i'm a, my main goal in life is that uh, i want to like meditate in my later years of life so i meditate i go on the weekends for almost 2 3 hours of meditation and generally after 10 15 minutes like you know i had to move my legs because i used to feel numbness and i could meditate straight for 1 hour without i was too totally still there was no numbness there was nothing and i think i i i am totally convinced that uh these products are fantastic and they are really really working so i i have myself a living proof and my daughters my husband everybody has a lot of actually stories to share but we don't have time but what i can say is that the products are very authentic and they really work and i'm blessed to have this in our lives oh doctor thank you Thank you. I think, you know, I think what you've shared is going to change even a lot of lives. People need to hear, for whatever reason, we know that people care about what medical professionals think. And I'm sorry, I'm frozen, you guys. So you get to see my blurry face for this whole thing. But I, as long as you can hear my voice, that's what counts. Um, I'm fine. You guys, these people see my face plenty. They don't need to see my face. They honestly, but so people need to hear what medical professionals have to say, and it matters. So Dr. Gandhi, it matters that you share. It matters that these people are hearing from you. It matters that they understand the magnitude of your global credentials, the magnitude of your research and your study and what you have done, and that you have stood behind this to the point where you would put it in your own body and in your own family's bodies, that's huge. And thank you for sharing that as well. But that it's something that you stand behind and endorse. And where do you think the future of this is going? 
just la it just close this out. Yes, close this, this out. Say, uh, where do you think the future of what we have? And have future, you ever seen anything like it? Yes, yes. I think the the future of where this is going is completely is going to just blow up the whole world. I feel because. Uh, we are the first ones to have this technology and it is patented. We are in so many countries. So to all the people who are hearing this message, just first thing is that have a 100% belief, you know, because I think that's the key. Because if we have the belief and if we are 100% uh, confident, you know, and uh, we share the message, it's, it's, it's just going to be like infectious, I would say, you know. So just carry on. Uh, don't worry about the people who may not hear you or not follow up with you. It's their loss. I would say that it's sad that they have been given an opportunity and they didn't take it. And uh, uh, don't even care about the medical professionals because they are pretty busy into their own work. And uh, if they get it, they get it. If some of them will be open-minded. So just don't get upset. What I just believe is move on. And before I end, just to give you a small story, since we all believe uh, in the church and God and our priest. So, uh, like, uh, there was this uh, flood happening in an area and the priest, uh, who was always preaching about the God, uh, was, like, uh, like getting, uh, like, you know, sinking. And then, uh, like, a first boatman came and he told that priest, uh, please get on, you know, the flood levels are rising, the water levels are rising. He said, no my Lord will save me, you know. And then after that, uh, like the water goes up to, right up to his chest and second boatman comes and uh, then he says that, uh, like, you know, same thing, that priest, please come in, the water levels are rising. No, my son, God will save me. <laughs> then the water comes up to the neck and the third and the final boatman comes and says that, you know, look, this is the final boat. You're going to drown. Please get onto the boat. Uh, like, you know, no, my son, God will come and save me. So the priest died. Sorry for that. But then when he went to heaven and he started fighting with God, like all my life, I've been talking things about you. I followed you. I did this, that. And you didn't even come to save me. So God, <laughs> God, God very silently says, my dear priest, I send you three boats with the boatman requesting you to get onto the boat. Now you don't get into it. Then why are you here to blame me that I didn't come to help you? <laughs> so, oh. so, so dear friends, what I feel is that we are those awesome boatmen sent by God <laughs> to help people uh, for this NRF2 activation and give them a life which could potentially increase the lifespan or help them prevent disease or uh, we are here to save lives and do some uh, good work and help people but if they don't want to get on a boat don't blame yourself about it don't feel rejected we are going great i i i, I definitely see this as a huge billion dollar company going worldwide and i'm very very excited to be a part of it because the main reason uh, i am into it is because uh, i'm one in a billion actually because I want to lead this uh, this to a billion dollar. I mean, I'm not saying billion billion dollar company, but a billion people nation. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm I'm Woo! for that. We already have China, right? So we will be covering the whole globe, and we will be going great. And all of us are on a wonderful journey. So uh, uh, stay on there, hang on there, give your all heart out. And we are destined for greatness and doing phenomenal things. We are blessed and God has sent us for this special, special work and we are on a mission. So I really thank you all today for hanging on for me and waiting for me. And I hope I have made some difference in your thinking. And uh, I thank you, Becky, very much. We, uh, we are all going to be uh, like meeting and have friendships in Alight Academy and travel the world. And I'm seeing a huge future with you all as my wonderful th family. Thank you so much and love you all. I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. From a frozen face over here, just hearing a voice in the wilderness. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for joining me tonight. Love you so much. I cannot wait to hug your neck in Anaheim. Let's get a big embrace. <laughs> and see you in person. Big hugs to you, my new, my new friend. All right, Dr. Gandhi, blessings to you. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings for your time tonight. Appreciate you so, so much.
and we will see you very soon. All right. God bless you. All of okay. you watch, get back with the person who shared this video with you because they love you. And I love you too. Bye-bye.